There are two ways to prosper financially. Let me wrap up there. And I do not downplay the intelligence of the vast resources, business resources we have in this place. There are people who are graced and gifted in that capacity beyond what I will know. So I do not claim to speak from a standpoint of intellectual mastery. But I can tell you that there are a few things that when you handle, the results show. Just two keys and then we'll wrap up for now. This money thing has caused a lot of problems for people. There are people who are depressed today. Money made them so. There are people who have lied to their wives and husbands today. Money made them so. There are people today who are going to hell. Money is what is escorting them to hell. There are many programs of the kingdom today that cannot thrive because of money. Only God knows what it costs to put a conference like this together. By privilege of leadership and what I do, sometimes I nod my head and I say, any man that God does not help, you will either compromise or you will die. That is the truth. I'm telling you with, with biblical honesty. There are certain helps if you don't receive from God. You will either compromise at the detriment of your integrity or you'll be on your way to hell. Lack of money will make you do three things. You will steal. You will lie. Stealing is related to poverty. Lying is related to poverty. Are we together? You will steal. You will lie. There are many other things. You will worry. You will compromise on your integrity and do it again and again. When God wants to increase a man, God does not give the man ideas first. God helps the man to understand his ways. I just spoke to you about the power of systems. A great and loving God will not put inhabitants in the earth and allow people to freelance their way into abundance. That does not look like a God of love. There must be a system that has been put in place. Please listen to me. We're wrapping up. My life would change in 2007 when uh, by a number of visions God granted me an encounter and I began to study on finances even relating to my life and relating to ministry because I didn't want to do ministry telling lies, manipulating people and I knew the kind of call God had given me and this call would require a lot of money a lot of money a lot of money Ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea how much an average pastor spends running one service. Hallelujah. You get into doing projects with the millions and the billions and your integrity should be kept. And you are not supposed to harass people. Don't keep quiet over the issue of money. Be open about it and learn it. Don't live in denial. You will pay the price. You live in denial, it will catch up with you one day. I guarantee you. Except you don't love Jesus. One day it will catch up with you. And when we talk about wealth with respect to the kingdom, we are not just talking of having your house, your car. No. Yourself is too small for that agenda. The purposes of God is bigger than our individual self. We are talking of being empowered for the purpose of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are two ways money comes. Number one, value. Value. Every time you see money come into the life of a man, it comes in honor to value. Value that is needed and useful. Please write that down. There are many people who believe they are valuable. If I don't need what you carry, I will not pay you for it. Even though what you are carrying is important. It must be important to me. Your value must not just be available, it must be needed and useful within the context of a civilization. Value. Number two, favor. If you don't believe in favor, good luck. I don't have much to tell you. I will meet you after 10 years of your life and leadership. And I'll be willing to guide you back to repentance. As you rediscover the harsh reality of living in today's world without the favor of God. Hmm. There are some things value cannot do. It takes favor. 
when God wants to accelerate you, he connects Lot to Abraham. Lot was not a businessman. He just was connected to a man God was blessing. There are many ways to prosper. You can prosper of transacting your value, but you can prosper of the favor that comes through relationships. There are many dynamics to it that may not be discussed here, but it is sufficient for you to know that if you ever touch your pocket and it is empty, if you ever touch your account and it is empty, let me diagnose it for you. Number one, your value is not being needed and useful or you are not transacting it intelligently to a targeted consumer base. This is what we call business. Business is not just the art of selling. Business is the art of selling to those who can recognize, appreciate, and reward that value. Most people say business is about selling. I don't agree. Well, I agree, but I disagree. Not everybody has what it takes to appreciate the value you carry. If I'm not hungry and you are selling food, your food is right, but you will still be poor with respect to my patronage. Your value must be needed and useful to me. I must be willing to recognize. This is why I'm going to pray a prayer for you as we wrap up. That God will relocate you to those who have the eyes to see what you carry. There are many of you who are gifted, but your audience is a wrong audience. You are shouting to people who have no past. It is a terrible thing to be in the midst of people who have no recognition of what you carry. Shame and disgrace and dishonor is what trails you, even though you are gifted. Joseph interpreted three people's dreams. Two of them did not have the power to help him. But when the king dreamt, the same man with the same gift became a prime minister. It matters who you interpret, whose dream you are interpreting. Many of you are selling great things, but to people who only have the ability to admire what you carry, but not to reward you. This is one thing God helped me do. And it is the spirit of God who guides you. There are many preachers today, some of you seated here. If the right people hear your sermon, you will never be where you are again. I have met preachers. I have met prophets. I have met great people in my life. And sometimes when I listen to them out of compassion, I say, my God, why is the world not hearing this person? I have met musicians. I have met worship ministers. Now, by God's grace, I've met a lot of people, but I've met some you do not know. And when they sang, I was almost saying, look, let me carry you and come and tell the world, listen to this person. And yet they are still there. The grace for visibility is when God puts you to the right audience. Listen to me because I'm going to speak it to your life. There are many gifted people today. They should not beg with the kind of value they carry. The right people. I know men of God who are being helped by God today because God sent them to sincere people who became sons of consolation. They helped them and communicated such spiritual value. And the people say, your assignment is my assignment. And single-handedly, they ease off that burden of pain. And the people can focus on serving God. My life today is a product of the help of many people. The help of many people. God brought strategic people to my life. God placed an audience before me by his grace and by his spirit. That when they had me, they said, this is the person we are willing to invest our lives over. Oh, oh, rest on me. Oh, oh rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom. 